What's up guys, this is Orway H and welcome to I Review Everything. Today I'll be discussing the features of LG V30. The LG V30 is a feast of specs, a Snapdragon 835 chip, OLED display, quad deck, 4 gigs of RAM and dual cameras. It's all packed inside a sleek frame with skinny bezels and a lot of glass. While the V30 isn't nearly as much of a departure from its predecessor as the G6 is from the modular G5, it still brings some significant design changes. The most obvious is that there isn't a physical second screen at the top anymore, giving the phone much better visual symmetry and balance. The corners curve a bit more than the last year and the bezels have slimmed down dramatically, giving the phone a more compact look despite its larger screen. The front of the V30 is entirely made of black glass. Around the back, you'll find a dual camera setup and a centered fingerprint scanner that once again doubles as power button. The glass backing has a metallic shin to it that reflects the light nicely and feels smoothly without being too slippery. Talking about displays, the V30 represents LG's first OLED phone since the ill-fated G Flex 2. The newness of the display is evident. With HDR and Daydream VR capabilities, the OLED's deep black represents an upgrade over the previous generation of LG LCDs. The P in Pollard stand for plastic, which is used to make the display thinner and more flexible than would be possible with glass, similar to the AMOLED screen Samsung uses in its Galaxy phones. Compared to the G6 and V20, the V30 curved edges are definitely a step in the right direction. Talking about the LG Custom OS, there is no comparison if we talk about themes. Samsung offer much better themes than LG V30 has to offer. But you can always make it up by downloading themes from Play Store or using a third-party launcher. To compensate it, they have given you the option to rearrange the navigation buttons and you can also choose the new gesture navigation bar which comes with the Android Pie. The new UX also offer new colored always-on display. Previous LG always-on display have offered little more than a clock. But the V30 brings the ability to display color photos and adds a set of useful quick tools for things like turning off Wi-Fi and turning on the flashlight along with the notification badges. You can compare it with Samsung's Edge screen. Talking about the fingerprint sensor, it's on the back perfectly centered where you can actually reach it. It doubles as a power button too. Fingerprint unlock was quick and I faced no issue in setting up fingerprints. It's quick and perfect. LG V30 is still struggling to get its Android 9 update, but if you don't want to wait, you can download it from LG's website and flash it directly on your phone. Flashing doesn't require you to root your phone or to unlock your bootloader, you can simply flash it using LG Bridge or some other softwares provided by the LG itself. It's a simple process, I'll show you how to do it in my next video. Performance-wise, LG V30 sports a Snapdragon 835, along with 4 gigs of RAM, a step up of LG V20's Snapdragon 820 and LG G6's 821. Navigation and app switching is fast and smooth, and there's a cool haptic engine that emits little pulses of feedback when you flip a toggle or snap a photo. For now, I tested the performance by playing some video games. We all love to play video games, there's no shame in admitting that. I mean, what's the point of having a high-spec phone and no games installed? So, while playing games on LG V30, in my time of gameplay I wasn't able to find any glitches or lags in the games, there was no excessive heating problem like Samsung phones and the battery life also held on its own perfectly. Talking about the battery life, LG has put a 3300mAh battery in its V30. But this time around, it's not removable. The V20 was the last major Android phone with a removable battery 
so some people will be very disappointed. For most buyers, however, it won't matter, especially because LG has added wireless charging and IP68 water resistance in its place. I never had to plug it in during a heavy load of real world testing. The V30 should get you through a full day, but you'll need to charge it while you sleep. You know, like pretty much every other smartphone. The V30 continues its products line tradition of being a showcase for LG's latest advancement in smartphone photography. The dual camera setup pairs a 16 megapixel lens with a 13 megapixel one. LG has stuck with its wide angle camera over the telephoto one on other flagship phones, so there's still no portrait mode. If you've used an LG G6, you pretty much know what to expect with the LG V30's camera. In the right light, pictures are clear and bright and colors are vivid, though they can get a touch of oversaturated at times. At this point, we can say that the V30 holds its own against our longtime champion, the LG G6, and even brings some notable improvements in image quality and user experience. LG has expanded on the LG G6's incredible camera app, keeping features like Match Shot, where you take a picture with the rear and front cameras simultaneously, and Snapshot showing a preview of your last picture alongside the viewfinder, while also adding some new cool features like going live on YouTube directly from your camera app. Flip over to the manual mode and you'll see a new graphy icon that lets you browse a library of professional photos and automatically imports the same white balance, shutter speed and ISO setting that were used to take it. LG has beefed up the V30's video capabilities as well. The Cine Video which offers a variety of color grades for your shot, like lens filters for your videos. You can choose from a variety of tints like dark blue in Thriller or old times black and white with Classic. The results look surprisingly professional. Also new is Point Zoom, which lets you pick an area on the screen that the lens will lock into while zooming. I also tested the cameras on a motorbike and surprisingly the video was stable although I noticed little shakes when I switched to 16 megapixel sensor but the wide angle camera sensor kept everything smooth. The lighting was perfect, there were no shakes and everything looks perfectly amazing. Coming toward another feature of LG V30 is the sound quality. LG V30 has a single speaker at the bottom of the phone but it's a powerful one. As I'm capturing this video with LG V30, so we'll be able to check the sound quality and the microphone at the same time. You might want to turn down the volume a bit. While Google and Apple are leading the charge to dump the headphone jack, LG is doubling down on the legacy port by building a 32-bit advanced quad deck into the V30. The results are pretty incredible. With a pair of Bluetooth birds, the V30 sounds like any other phone, but with wired headphone and the quad deck flipped on, it's in a class by itself. You can also play around with some built-in presets and digital filters to get the desired sound quality along with the sound balance. LG is paying attention to little details in their music app. They are adding features that nobody care to have but it's still nice to have those features, like playing on other devices, 
or the music video of current song. Same goes with the flashlight features. LG has added a new feature in their music app which is known as simply flashlight where apparently the flashlight will blink along with the music beat. Talking about water resistance, LG V30 is IP68 dust and water resistant. It's one of my favorite features that I love to test. We all have secrets. Some people have skeletons in their basement. I have water damaged phone in mine. I tested water resistance a day before making this video and the phone is still working. So I think it's safe to say that LG isn't lying about their phones to be water resistant. But I won't recommend you to drop your phone in the bucket. Let's just not do that again. So that comes to our final question. Should you be buying a V30 in 2020? Is it still worthy? Let's see. Compact design. Great battery life. Top of the line specs. Camera app brings excellent features and shooting mods. IP68 water resistance. Quad deck offers superior sound through wired headphones and wireless fast charging. So yes, it's still a flagship smartphone that you want to buy in 2020. So this here was my review of LG V30. Is it still worth it to buy in 2020 or not? I'll be uploading more videos related to this phone where I will show you how you can flash it and update it to the latest version of Android. So make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next time.